Hello everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. I'm going to be showing you a bit more in-depth tutorial on what adversary modes give you what adversary outfits that you can save with this new version of the glitch to get these outfits here. So the first thing you're going to see here is me running down the list and showing you the different modes, the different outfits, and talking about a little bit. And then I'm actually going to show you the glitch with two different styles of these outfits with two different jobs. So if you want to skip all that, just look at the description. You'll see a list of what adversary modes give you what outfits, as well as information on how to do the glitch. I might go a little fast here, so make sure you're checking the description. And also, I do want to give you a heads up that it's very important to pay attention to the number of players you need. Most times you only need two, and then also the number of teams you need. Sometimes you only need two as well. So you can do these usually with anywhere from one to three other friends, which makes it a bit easier than just, you know, getting a bunch of randoms to join you. But there are also different colors available depending on how many teams you're actually able to do. A little tip is that if you can only do two teams, you're probably only going to get orange and purple style of adversary outfits. If you can do four teams, then that also means you can get green and usually pink as well. And then for other jobs, you're not going to get colored items, you're just going to get special or unique items that you cannot normally purchase in the game, which also makes this a really cool glitch. So under jobs, play jobs, Rockstar created adversary modes, let's get started on this list. Again, this is going to go a little fast, check the description if you need help, or just skip past this and go to the part where I actually do the glitch. So the first thing we're scrolling past here is going to be Dawn Raid. You can get orange and purple camo color joggers for the female or cargo pants for the male. You've got the deadline outfit here, you can get different color deadline outfits, or just complete this mission to be able to purchase them at the clothing store. You've got the dogfight mission here, which is a new one, and I believe you get colored air flight suits with that. You've also got drop zone here that has colored helmets and colored joggers, pink, orange, purple, and green, depending on how many teams you have. Extraction job number four gives you the red tie. You just need two friends to join you and be on the target team. I'm gonna show you that later in the video. And then you've got this job in and out here. You can get solid color white, and then I believe tan hats with that if you wanted to use that mission. You've got the job inch by inch, which gives you the purple or the orange hat or the purple or orange um, jerseys, which are really nice and you can put with different colors of outfits. For the girls, they're awesome because they also glitch with the long style gloves. Land grab also gives you the deadline outfits if you wanted to use this mission. It's also a pretty fun mission to play if you never have before. And then if you're scrolling down a bit further, you've got Motor Wars here, which gives you, I believe, the colored joggers as well. And then you've got the new Occupy mission that gives you colored joggers as well as gives you the CEO armor. You can get orange or purple from that. That's a new one. That's a really popular one right now if you're curious about how to get that and then scroll down of course so much more <laughs> you've got this power mad job here that allows you to save the orange purple pink and green camo color joggers or cargo pants on the mail which look really nice you can save the juggernaut outfit from that as well but it's a bit more of an in-depth kind of I don't know glitch but it doesn't really stick in free mode I don't believe so I wouldn't even put your bet on that <laughs> then you've got the stockpile mission that allows you to save these colored adversary bomber jackets which are really cool and those come in all four colors if you'd like them the sumo job also gives you colored joggers with the flight suit top but I don't believe it gives you the helmet with the sumo you've got till death do us part that allows you to get like colored ties and colored body armor on the male you can also get like the colored body armor on the female but you can't change the dress or the bottom on those outfits or it'll glitch it away which is so stupid I know <laughs> you've got turf wars that gives you the black joggers and you can also get the colored leather jackets from this job and then vehicle vendetta also gives you the black joggers yours missions you can do there with either two teams or four teams just depends on how many people you got to get the joggers and then it is safe to say that with most of these jobs only one person can get the outfits at the same time unless you're doing a mission that has like four teams usually if a couple of people leave you can still stay in the mission and get them so i'm going to show you how to get the colored joggers with the colored helmet here and i'm going to run you through the steps to complete this glitch so before getting these before getting any of the adversary outfits you must do this step in free mode so before we would go in the style portion of our interaction menu when you're in the job and just change something but now you have to do this before you do the glitch so go down to racing outfit and set that to none if it already is on something else just scroll back to the outfit and then set it to none that's very important before you join the job then you just go to jobs go to play job rockstar create it and select the adversary mode outfit that you want it to play in order to get the outfit so we're going to be doing a drop zone here and i'm going to be inviting a couple of friends so that we have four teams and everybody can get whatever color that they want 
So remember I said to pay attention to the number of teams and players that you need in these missions. For this one, if you set it to four teams, you'll be able to get purple, green, orange, and pink, either helmets or joggers. So make sure you have enough friends to complete this with you. Invite them to the mission after changing the number of teams and then just simply hit ready to play. So with this particular mission, you actually can quit at any time and it doesn't kick everybody else out of the mission. So as long as you know you have friends there that wanna play this and maybe you have at least three friends to do this with you, a couple of you can get this at the same time. So you can switch teams by just clicking on join team and just whatever team you end up on is the one that you're gonna get or the outfit that you're going to wear. So I am actually on orange, but I swapped over to green just because someone else wanted orange, I guess. I don't know, but it just depends on again what color that you do want and then the next part of this glitch is almost the same as before but obviously we did that step in free mode prior and I'm going to show you why it's different or why we cannot do it the old way so you load into the job you don't move don't do anything open up your interaction menu go to style and then you want to scroll down to racing outfit and switch that right or left once and then you'll see that everything is grayed out and that's why we cannot do it the old way because you cannot change anything except for that racing outfit that you set to none so just wait about 10 seconds and then if you're on ps4 suspend your application with youtube or netflix and then come back to the application and you'll get that alert press x and load into a session if you're with xbox i believe you can just join a new crew through your phone on social club it'll kick you or whoever is in the mission out and then when you load back in you'll have the outfit or you can just simply lag out of the mission and when you spawn back in you will have this outfit on and then all you need to do is just simply save the outfit you can make a lot of changes to these adversary outfits Obviously, with the jogger ones, you can change the shoes on them. For the camo-colored pants or cargo pants or joggers, the females can change the shoes, and they'll stay joggers. But if the male changes the shoes, they'll actually just stay cargo pants, which is kind of crappy, I know. <laughs> but you'll see here that I have other items that I save from adversary jobs. I had that, that purple CEO vest with the or sorry, the purple joggers with the black CEO vest. And then I'm gonna show you another one here that I did actually show in the other video I had, but I wanted to run through this with you just one more time in case you're just listening and looking at the list in the description. I'll tell you what to do again here. So the first thing I always do is I save the outfit that I wanted to wear. And then obviously for the next one, I'm gonna run through this glitch for you. So you open up your interaction menu, go to style, go down to racing outfit, and you want to set that to none. If it's on something else, just scroll once away and then scroll back to none just to make sure that is set on none. You must do this step in order to be able to get these jobs, these jobs outfits. So then go to online and go to play job, Rockstar created adversary mode, and we're gonna be getting the red tie with this. So you go down to extraction number four or extraction IV, and then you just need two friends to join this mission with you and you need to be on the team called Target. Once you're on the team called Target, which whenever I host this job, I always end up on that team. So I don't know if that's just how this goes here but if you host the job you'll probably be the target and won't have to switch back and forth so once you've got your two friends to join you to help you out in this mission we're going to do exactly the same thing as before so all you're going to do when you load into the job is you're going to open up your interaction menu go to style scroll down to racing outfit and then you want to just switch that either left or right once and that will take it off of none everything in that menu will become grayed out and then do not close your interaction menu just simply do what i said for xbox where you can switch crews if you'd like when you're in the job through your phone and then it'll kick you out of the job or you can i believe just lag out and then you'll be kicked out of the job too and you'll spawn in with the outfit or for ps4 which is what i use and what i play on you just simply suspend your application through netflix youtube amazon or something like that come back to gta press x on the alert and then you'll spawn in with the outfit so with the red tie outfit you can change any top do different things to it make it look really cool add different bottoms whatever you want to do so thank you guys so much for watching the video today i know it was a bit long and <laughs> drawn out but I did tell you in the first minute what to do if you did not want to watch the entire video. I just know some people learn better by actually seeing the glitch and not always listening or even reading things. So drop a like on the video, leave me some comments. If you know any other jobs we can get outfits from with this adversary mission that I did not include, share it with everyone in the comments and I'll see you guys soon with more glitch videos.